Okay, so I figured I would make a quick video on how to check the integrity of a file download with Kubuntu. And a good way to do this is to compare the checksums, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do to get the compared checksum, you're going to open up your file explorer, or your web browser actually. You're going to search for Kubuntu ISO download, and you're going to click on that first link there. And since we downloaded the Kubuntu version 20.04.4, this is the one we want here. So we're going to go down here to Alternative Downloads and Checksums. We're going to click there. And this is the value we're going to compare. So after you download that, you're going to have to run a command on the downloaded ISO file. And when you compare these two, it'll tell you if you have a tampered with file or a good file. So I'll show you how to run that command here now. So we're going to minimize this. We're going to right click on the start menu down here and go up to the administrative PowerShell. We'll give it a second to boot up here. You don't have to do this, but we're going to change to the C directory. The command we want is called git file hash and you can tab complete it. We have to tell it where the ISO download is. So we'll say path to NRC drive under users. Username is CTE. For me it's going to be different for you obviously. And it's on our desktop and we have to specifically tell it that file. So we'll type in KU and we'll tab complete it so it picks up that ISO file. And we'll hit enter and it's going to give us the file hash of this specific file. So if these two values are different, you'll know that the file is either corrupted or it's been tampered with and you know not to install it. Okay, so we have our file hash value here. So let's go back to the edge window and see if we can compare these. So you just have to go through every letter, make sure they're the same. So I can already tell this is looking pretty good. 2AD10694. We'll just double check to make sure everything is good. 33EC. Yep, it looks good to me. So obviously if, if there were any discrepancies, if this was this is what you're comparing it to here, if your screen over here is different, obviously you know not to install the file because it was either tampered with or it has malware installed, just make sure you know not to use it. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.